Hey, it's your buddy Jay right here. Today we're going to be talking about and discussing Overturn. So I'm going to be using little chibi panda emotes that I drew just so the video doesn't get too boring. But basically, we're going to be discussing Overturn. And after this episode, oh boy, the hype, the hype. Anyways, let's start talking about it. First off, we got a new form for chibi panda and bots. Uh, we knew about the bots one before from Coro Coro Leaks. But also some other cards have been released as well. So if you guys want to check out these new cards or most of these effects, I don't know if they've actually put these up on Buddy Spoiler yet. The ones from the new episode. Go check them out and I'll leave a link also in the description below to the newest Buddy Fight episode where this stuff happens. But without further ado, we got the new Chibi Panda form right here called Saint Holy Sword Dragon. And my goodness, it looks incredible. Just looking at the design for this character and the card, I'm pretty sure he's going to be included in the secret pack. Again, I'm not confirming, but it seems pretty obvious, just like a pattern. Just like the original Chibi Panda that was in the last secret pack for Dark Lord's Rebirth. So I'm assuming in the secret pack, you're probably going to get an item, um, the new overturned bots, and some other stuff. But again, I just really want that secret pack. And looking at his design, he looks absolutely incredible. Just want to quickly go over him. His design, incredible. Guys, I'd love to hear what you think. That Just the blue... The gold, the yellow, he really looks like a Saint Holy Sword Dragon, the name really goes, and his card artwork is incredible. His effects, he gets double attack, and you can see all this stuff here. Someone translated on Discord server, I'm just thinking about this off the top of my head, but apparently there is move, he has move as well, as you see in the bottom um, right, right there. And he's also got the double attack ability, as I said before, if you have a monster and item on your field, and it's pretty decent stats, so real awesome to see that. And, of course, the bots, which we already knew about. Um, bo ugh, Barrel bots. I'm still getting used to that. Incredible card. Overturn. Stand all cards on your field. Extra attack. On top of that, if you can pull it off with bots, X-Link, or other cards, or have enough gauge, you can just destroy your opponent with Thunder Lance as well, if you still need it. But some people are saying you don't really need it. For, just from testing it on BFA, again, we don't have enough stuff to actually confirm and test it properly. We do have the Thunder Fang and Parfag. Um, flag for those who don't know, it's called Thunder Empire's Fang. There's an English version I'll put up on screen right about now. And basically, you start with seven cards in hand, only one gauge, but 11 life. So you only use Thunder Empire cards, so Gal's probably going to use this sometime later on in the anime. But again, the set isn't coming out until October, so there's tons of time to get new stuff and for stuff to develop. And of course, there's also Overturn Reversal as well, which I'm going to be talking about as well. It's basically just basically Overturn for Chaos Monsters you know, for the bad guys in the anime, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, really interesting to see um, Thunder Empire getting this new stuff. Obviously, we're going to see a lot more stuff. We have, um, you know, maybe having that one gauge could be a disadvantage, but definitely starting off with seven hand cards is really nice. And obviously, um, Gao's new sword, we don't know exactly what it does, all that has double attack, but it seems to be a really strong weapon, interesting design. I still like Drag Royale, but my goodness, the fact that, you know, these cards don't have... Um, life restriction like Drag Royale and the original bots is going to be pretty insane, especially the fact you can stand all cards in your field. Anyways, topic of Overturn. Uh, for those who still don't know, we got two other copies or leaks of characters that have Overturn. Um, this Abigail that has Thunder Empire's attribute put up on screen right now. It's Overturn abilities blocked, same with this Tsuge Kage as well. So that's really interesting to see. Um, I don't know if this is canon to the anime. Again, you can't ever say cards that show up are going to be canon to the anime because we got tons of drum cards. We still haven't seen drum in the anime. But basically what I'm trying to say is that I'm really excited that these other kind of archetypes are going to get overturned as well. Um, if Prism Dragons are going to get overturned, I have no idea. Eventually, probably they will because I don't remember if there was a statement about this, but I remember hearing or reading somewhere that probably everything is eventually going to get overturned, you know, just to balance out the game. But for those who don't know from the set, again, I'll leave a link to the set. But first off, it's going to be the Chaos, Katana World, Danger World, and Dragon World that's going to begin this first. And we also saw in the preview for the next episode that Bruto, one of the Chaos 3, is also going to be using um, Overturn Reversal. I don't know if he's going to be using it in that specific episode, but we do know he does have that, um, basically the Golem that has that ability. So again, not too sure if he's going to be using that next episode, but there is Overturn Reversal. If you guys want to check out these effects and other stuff from the Coro Coro link, um, link in the description below to Buddy Spoiler if you want to check that out. But I would love to hear from you guys what you think about this new ability of Overturn. Again, this was leaked before, but I feel like definitely seeing it in the anime, definitely seeing it in action is definitely going to be just, just really hyped it up, really, and really just brought it out to the audience for those who haven't seen videos that discuss it. So I think I'm the only person that actually made a video on it. I don't remember. Um, I believe Hunter Search did as well, and that was about it. But... 
I think that is basically it for Overturn. In terms of other characters, like, I can't really say confirmation, but I do kind of want to discuss other potential characters that could possibly get Overturn. I have no idea what Prism Dragon's Overturn could be because Asterism Effect... Uh, asterism... Asterism Effect already stops Prism Dragons from being destroyed, and you can't lose the game, so I mean... What's a better ability than that, basically? I mean, I guess you could throw one of those onto an Athor and be like, boom, that's Overturn. But honestly, I'm really gonna hear... I'm basically just really excited and really want to hear from you guys and really hoping to see what else we're gonna get Overturn for. Um, we're probably gonna get some more dual cards. That it can be Thunder Empire, Danger World, of course. Um, there was this... Uh, if the Dachi Lee's or the Core Core magazine, if I can find them, I'll put them up on screen. There was one for Cerberus, Demon Godel, which um, if you guys saw the buddy, buddy spoiler video or being on the website, you guys would already know that they're getting Thunder Empire versions as well. So there's still tons of more cards to come. Whether they'll be in the anime, I do not know. Again, I can't confirm or say they're canon, but it's really awesome to see other stuff getting support as well, especially Katana World as well and Danger World because I feel like those were really some of the main worlds that started off in Buddy Fight. And as time went by, they just weren't as strong Tyrants, maybe because of life gain and Qui Gon Wolf, but ninjas signed of fell behind. But now, with some new support and all this other stuff, I feel like they can really become a lot stronger, especially with that Dragon Vanquish formation that can nullify the call of a dragon from was, I believe it was the Triple T Climax Booster. But yeah, definitely really excited. Let's see, Abigail probably be something linked to Death Count Rekka, maybe um, stopping cards in your fields from being nullified and destroyed, you know, just another extra layer or something. Or maybe milling. I highly doubt that would happen. Uh, what else is there for Overturn? What are the characters? Magic World. Uh, don't know if that's going to happen. There is five world build masters. But honestly, there hasn't been too much information for that. But in terms of other worlds, um, Legend God Hero World, you know, stuff. They have toilets. I think they're pretty good for now. They'll probably get overturned sometime. The Chaos. Kier God's Overturn. I don't know if I want to know what that will do, but... <laughs> Let's say it's it's probably going to be pretty insane. I mean, you already have a deal Diablos with triple attack crit 2. Then you have this new dual golem, which is only size 2, but it's overturn reversal can give crit plus 2 to everything on your board. On top of that, you can have other stuff as well that's double attack or triple attack. So you're going to have, like, you know, you already saw from that one episode with some using Chaos, um, Hadith, and uh, all that other stuff. Sorry if I said that wrong. On his field, getting up to, like, 20 critical. So with that ability, you can probably get up to 28 critical. And the chaos is just, like, aggro decks seem to be at its finest right now. Um, definitely probably a bit more balanced out because, my goodness, this um, support for, for Darkness Dragon World in Evolution and Mutation, definitely something really strong. So con for control decks, especially Evil Deity Dragons, they got, like, there's a lot of annoying control decks out there. But definitely aggro decks are getting a big thing, especially with Overturn Bots. Even if your cards are rested, you just use this, stand all your cards, go for an attack again. Really need it, Bot 6 Link, and maybe um, Tempest Buster if you really need that. But my goodness, um, I'm hoping that Matt will make an unofficial update for this. Again, I can't speak for him, but I'm just really, really excited to test out, just try out these new cards on Buddy Fight Area. And for those who um, have not asked for it or do not know what Buddy Fight Area is, if you guys want to see an installation tutorial for that, because I feel like more people should know about that, I feel like that just brings out a lot more hype for the cards that more people are playing it online. Because I think for a lot of areas in the world, Buddy Fight just isn't popular enough to have just a card shop or sometimes to be sold in some area. So definitely being able to play online on the magical world called the internet is really awesome. So I think that's about it for me. This video is already mean way too long, but overturn gear, God. Oh boy. Anyways, really hyped to see that from everything else. Definitely seeing this new form of Chibi Panda. Absolutely hyped. Definitely can't wait till October for this uh, Buddy Fight X set three. Hopefully, it seems like they were doing a pattern for the voice actor thing opening sets as well. So that's interesting as well. Maybe we'll see like Tsuku, maybe Gaito's voice actor. Maybe, I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love to hear what you would think, what you think about Overturn, new characters, speculation, anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys later.